All right, this is going to be a, a brief little introduction on how you can use uh, OBS capturing multiple input sources and uh, being able to separate them in the output file. So say, for example, you have two people talking, but one of them is really quiet and you want to adjust the audio after you've uh, finished recording. This is, uh, this is what you're going to want to do. So I have two inputs here. Uh, first input is the microphone. My second input is going to be this electric guitar. Yeah, now you can hear my voice. My voice is a little bit quiet compared to this guitar. So we're obviously going to want to adjust that, but we can't do this now. As we can see, this is, uh, this is just one audio source. So what we're going to do here, we're going to go into advanced audio properties. And this is everything we're going to want to look at. So desktop audio, if anything happens on the desktop, it's going to show up in track one. Um, track one we're going to use as like everything that happens happens in track one. Uh, the desktop audio will capture in track two and it'll be just track two. We're also going to capture the microphone mix. So this is a mix between the microphone and the guitar. Uh, that's going to be captured in the second track. However, we're going to need more tracks than this. We're going to have one for my voice and one for just the guitar. So we're going to need a couple more inputs for that. Just the mic. All right, now we can see that this is still... We have two on here. Technically, we can split it by that. We can split up those channels if we want to. But... I'm going to make this just a wee bit easier on myself. There, that's what we want. So this is just... I'm going to disable it on track one. This is just the microphone. Nothing else. Nothing else. And we're going to do a second one. Now we have just guitar. In advanced audio properties, just guitar. Again, we're not going to be hearing that on track one. We'll put it on track five. Now, unfortunately, there's only six tracks, so that is something to consider. Now, if we're live streaming, live streaming is going to be basically track one. Track one is desktop audio and the mix of the uh, guitar and the voice track. Desktop audio also plays on track two. The mix is track three, and then tracks four and five are the separate audio channels. So now, what we're going to do, we're just going to record this really quickly here. Um, now, when we set this up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the recording, and I'm going to name each and every one of these, and that's going to be desktop. Or no, that's going to be full mix. That's going to be desktop. That's going to be mix audio guitar. That's going to be voice only and guitar only. So let's get those names in there. All right. So now we've got the mix in there. All of these are labeled. And in fact, for the just voice and just guitar, we're actually recording those at a slightly higher bit rate because we can set the bit rate per track. So in addition, the output, we have to select these tracks before we start recording. We're exporting tracks one through five, and it gives us a warning certain formats like FLV do not support multiple tracks per recording. Well, that's true. In this case, we're using MPEG-4. I believe that's the only one that works currently with OBS. But it is what it is. So as long as you're using MPEG-4, nothing to worry about. If you want to use a different format, you're going to have to transcode it after the fact. But uh, let's, just, uh, let's just give a quick example of how that works. I'm going to play a couple of chords. I'm going to say a few words. And uh, we'll take a look at uh, we'll take a look at the output in uh, in something like VLC, and that'll show us the individual tracks. As you can see, I'm playing the guitar. You can't hear it. Now you can. To the mic. That's, I don't like leaning like you don't know. I'm messing up my chords. 
You can hear me muting the strings cause I This is cringe worthy. The chords while I'm leaning forward. So that's just a uh, quick example of how you can use tracks in OBS to uh, get a little bit better output. Now this only works for recording. Streaming is only going to use that track one. So anything that's set as track one is going to go th is going to go through when you're streaming. Anything that's set as track two through six, uh, those are going to be recorded with separate uh, audio channels. So if you are streaming or something like that, um, unfortunately that means you're going to need streaming and recording as separate file formats. Uh, in the streaming option, you can select which track is going to be streamed, but you can only select from one of them because streaming is going to be something of an FLV. Recording is going to be encoded different for the audio. So, yeah, just a uh, quick tutorial there with, uh, with OBS. Hope that's useful. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments below. And uh, I'm Arlington Matrix. Have yourselves a great one.